welcome to the first episode of a new series on the channel which is going to be called How To Tuesdays. Basically what this series is going to be, it's going to be basic beginner lure fishing tips and techniques, teaching you how to do things such as tie rigs, work lures, rig lures onto jig heads and stuff like that. So super simple, super quick and hopefully I'll be able to teach you guys something and hopefully help people who are just getting into lure fishing figure out new techniques. So, first episode of the series, we're gonna start off with a basic one, one that a lot of people start fishing with, and it's gonna be how to tie a drop shot rig. Now, drop shot rigs are quite easy to tie when you know how to tie them, but I think as a beginner, it's not a knot that a lot of people do. So, we're gonna get right into it, we're gonna keep this quick. We're gonna go over the things we need to tie a drop shot rig, and then we're just gonna get straight to tying it, and yeah, hopefully, you guys will be able to tie it after watching this video. So, first thing, Flare a carbon leader. Next thing, you'll need your drop shot hook. Smaller size than what you'd normally use for the size of jig that you're gonna be using, but we'll uh, discuss that later. Next is the drop shot weight. These have got a special little clip so you can just slide it onto your line at the bottom of your drop shot rig. Makes it so much easier to change your weights. And then the only other thing you need for the rig is your drop shot lures. So, let's get this rig tied, hopefully. You guys will learn how to do it. So, we've got our drop shot equipment. Some nice sharp scissors for this. So, first thing we're gonna do, cut length of fluorocarbon. So we've got our length of fluorocarbon cut. You're typically gonna want around about three foot. I've just cut two foot here just for this demo, but you want at least a foot and a half above your hook, and then you'll probably want the same amount below for adjusting the depth. So, We've got the fluorocarbon cut, we're going to tie that to the main line first thing. For that you can do whichever knot you prefer. I prefer the, it's sort of an improvised Albright knot and I'll just show you quickly how to do that. Double over the fluorocarbon, like so. Put the braid through. I'm going to go around this ten times. Pull that tag end back through the same way so both braids are on the same side of the loop. Moisten it and simply pull it tight. There's a nice tight little knot. Just cut them tag ends off and your leader is tied to your main line. So now we've got the leader on the main line. The next thing we're going to do is tie the hook on. This is super, super simple knot. So we're going to take the hook and thread it onto the leader. It's going to go upright onto there. Bring that so it's round about a foot and a half from the main line. You, you probably want it to be longer to be fair, normally, but a foot and a half is probably like the minimum I'd suggest. So below the hook, you know, a little loop in the fluorocarbon, big enough for the hook to go through. Pass that hook through that loop. One, two, three times. Then you're going to want to moisten that as well, Just that just prevents friction on the fluorocarbon, prevents it weakening, like I'm not using this leader so it doesn't really matter, but yeah, we're just going to slowly pull that tight from both sides. And there's your perfectly tied drop shot hook. Stays perfectly level against the line with this knot, you know, it's... Um, yeah, held nicely. Next thing you're going to want to do, simply take your drop shot weight. This is a seven gram one. And that just slots over the bottom of the line. Pull that in to that slot. And you've got a tied up drop shot rig. Take your drop shot lure. And with this you simply it. Just gonna want to lip hook that in there, and that's a that's a ready rig. Like I mentioned before about the hook size, generally you lip hook in the drop shot lures, so a smaller hook than what you normally normally on this you'd use a hook that comes out in its back but on a drop shot. You just want one with a decent enough gape that you're gonna get hooks there. So that is a finished drop shot rig. There we have our finished drop shot rig. Super easy to tie. 
once you know how. And uh, yeah, very effective way of catching pretty much any predatory species. The lure's sort of hanging down a bit because of, just because of the weight of the lure. Um, when that's in the water, that'll sit level nicely and you just uh, switch that along. Hopefully catch some monster perch. So that's going to do it for this first How To Tuesday. Hope that's helped some people out. Let me know in the comments any other quick how-to videos you guys want to see. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video.